Hello, hello, hello. I am here to review some new makeup that I've been dying to try. You guys, I'm finally gonna try out the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. I actually bought this and the brush. I also really have been dying to try this out right here. I received this in PR a while back, but I saved it to film in a video because I just, I can't wait to try these. So this is from Rare Beauty. How gorgeous is this PR package, first of all? Like, come on. They have new highlighters. I'm trying to fit it all in the screen. <laughs> Look how cute this is too. They sent earrings. Maybe I'll have to put them on. I don't know, we'll see. And then we've got the new color corrector. So they have under eye correctors and highlighters and a new shade of a lip souffle, which I don't think I'll try that today because I have another lip product that I would like to try. Um, I've also got the new Too Faced blushes, which like the packaging, 10 out of 10. This is just so beautiful. So I wanted to try those. And then I've got the Hourglass lipsticks. We've got some new lip liners. So let's just get right into it. Starting off with the Surreal Skin Foundation. I've heard mixed things about this. People either love it or hate it. And I feel like that's the case with foundation in general, right? Like it's so personal. So I hope that I got the right shade. So I picked up the shade 2N. Here's what it looks like. It's a nice glass bottle with a pump. And let's see, this retails for $42. And then I also did buy the F4 brush to blend that out. I actually love the Makeup by Mario brushes. I think they're so good. Here's what the brush looks like. It's got one kind of more tapered fluffy end and then a smaller end, which is kind of nice for maybe concealer or something. I don't know. So this is supposed to be a natural finish. It's a liquid formula. It's hydrating, medium coverage and long wearing. The thing that people are kind of iffy about from what I've heard anyway, is it has light reflecting particles in it. So it's supposed to be more on the dewy side. Let's apply it to one half of my face. Um, I did apply the Too Faced Hangover Primer not that long ago. I forgot to apply like a fresh layer of moisturizer on my skin earlier. So I wanted to do a moisturizing type of primer that you know doesn't really alter the finish of my foundation. And so I just applied that one. I did one pump on the back of my hand and it seems to be plenty. It's gonna cover more than half of my face. I don't wanna go overboard. I feel like I tend to do that when I try new foundations. I accidentally go a little bit overboard. Well, the shade match, hello. Fantastic, love that for me. Especially when you buy things online, I feel like sometimes that's the trickiest part is getting the shade match right. So I'm just pressing that in with my sponge so we can get a good feel for the finish and the difference between both sides. I always apply my foundation with a brush and then a sponge. Okay, so here's the before, here's the after. It definitely covers redness really nicely. There's still some blemishes that are showing through, but that's not anything that concealer can't fix. And I actually now prefer that in a foundation where I just kind of get a good even tone and then I can spot conceal if I want any extra coverage. So here's what we're working with. The finish is nice. It's definitely a more natural finish and I can kind of see the light reflecting particles. I was over here thinking that it would be straight up glitter which, you know, it's very sheeny. Like it definitely has a pearlescence to it, but it's not chunky pearls, which is what I had in my head when I heard people talking about it. So that's what it looks like. Let's go ahead and apply the same foundation to the other side of the face. It dried down a little bit on the back of my hand, so I might pick up a little more. I'm just gonna do like a tiny bit more on the back of my hand. I like this brush too. I really do use Mario's brushes quite a bit. The blush and bronzer brush from him is one of my favorites ever. Really, really happy about the shade match though. It's pretty much perfect, which is so nice. Okay, so that's the foundation all over the face. With foundations, I feel like a lot of foundations are really good nowadays. So I'm gonna have to see how it wears. And I also will definitely have my other favorite foundations in the back of my mind, you know, cause I do have a preference to how foundations wear or how they look on me or um, the type of finish that they have, especially after wearing them for a few hours. But I do feel like my skin looks nice. My skin feels nice. It doesn't feel too heavy on the skin. I feel like it does kind of emphasize a little bit of my larger pores right here, but we'll see how that looks once I powder the face. So let's go ahead and dive into the Rare Beauty package. We're gonna pick up the um, correctors. So we've got the Positive Light Under Eye Brightener right here. They sent me the shade Light, which looks like this. So this is something that you're supposed to use underneath concealer, I believe. It's a weightless brightening liquid formula that illuminates and refreshes the under eye area with a natural luminous finish. Okay, let's try this out. I've seen online, like the packaging looks interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about it because I don't love metal on my face. I just get like the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> 
So this is like a cooling applicator, which is kind of an interesting way of doing things. Um, but hey, you know, I'm open to everything. I'm gonna try it out. So let's try it on one eye to see if we can see the difference. Okay, so it's definitely ice cold, which actually feels nicer than I thought. It is so cold, oh my goodness. I'm actually just gonna use my fingertip to blot this out. I'm just gonna tap that into the under eye area. The nice thing about correctors is usually you can go without concealer or use a lot less concealer. It's a very thin and hydrating feeling formula. That's really nice, actually. Definitely brightened up my under eye area, which I need after having a baby. <laughs> I'm not getting that much sleep these days. So my dark circles are really uh, kicking in more than ever. And I feel like that really made a huge difference in the overall brightness and appearance of my under eye. Feels really nice. The applicator, you know, it doesn't bother me as much as I thought it would, but I still find it kind of odd. I don't know. I just like classic things. I, I just like familiar applicators and things like that. So I'm just gonna apply this to the other under eye. I do feel like I see light reflecting particles in this as well, which is nice. Okay, so we've got that on the under eyes. That actually feels really good. I'm excited about that. I'm debating whether or not to wear concealer on top, but I feel like I should, because that's how I would use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a tiny bit of my Charlotte Tilbury concealer. I've been really into this, and I don't need that much at all now that I have the corrector on. I'm also not gonna worry about covering up blemishes. I've got some that could use more coverage, but it's all good. I'm just gonna take my sponge to blend the concealer out on top of that corrector. When you layer concealer on top, it's even more of a brightening situation. I think it looks really nice, actually. I'm just taking what's left on my sponge and going across the eyelid to cancel any discoloration out. All right, you know what else I wanna try? I actually received these new Huda Beauty powder puffs in the mail and they have a lot of different sizes. So they have these larger puffs right here, one that's heart-shaped, one that's triangle-shaped, and then they've got four little mini ones, which are so cute. Ah, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so we have a mini heart and then a mini triangle. How precious is that? Okay, I'm gonna use the powder that I always use, and that is the Huda Beauty one. I just feel like it's reliable, it's what I use the most. So I like to use familiar products on top of a new foundation and I guess concealer or corrector in this case. So let's see here. Let's use the Teensy Weensy Huda Beauty Powder Puff. <laughs> it's so cute. I'm gonna use that to set the under eyes. I'm just gonna press that underneath the eyes. These are teeny, oh my gosh, I love them. Just the little teeny, teeny puffs. It's actually really nice to get underneath the eye area. <laughs> They're just so cute, okay. Also gonna use that to press powder in the T-zone. And then I personally like to take just a large fluffy brush to set the rest of the face. I'm gonna throw on some bronzer. I'm gonna use this from Haley's Beauty. And then we will try the blush and the highlighter. I'm actually also gonna fill in my brows while I'm at it too. Okay, I've got my brows on and then I also just threw a little bit of that Haley's Beauty bronzer into the eyes. I figured that I would try to use the blush the bronzer and the highlighter for my eye look today because I love when products can be versatile like that. Okay, I am so excited to try out these highlighters finally. They look gorgeous. So we've got four shades, Flaunt, Mesmerize, Exhilarate, and Enlighten. For me, I feel like I will be um, Enlighten and maybe Mesmerize because it's like the pink one. Look how cute the packaging is. It's like a little round bubble. And then look how pretty, ooh. That looks so pretty just in the pan. So that one is Mesmerize, that's the more pink one. And then we've got Enlighten, which is the lightest shade in the bunch, which looks like this. Wow, ooh, that looks bright. Okay, they also sent over their Positive Light Precision Brush, which is a highlighter brush, which we will also try. Rare Beauty is another brand whose brushes I love. I love their foundation brush so much. Let's go ahead and try this, if it will focus, hello. Okay, we're gonna take a tiny bit of this how pretty, oh my goodness. And just trying to be gentle. Ooh, that's bright. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this and go on the high points of the face. It's definitely very bold. Like it's it's a sparkly highlight for sure. But I think it's, I mean, it's so pretty. Very bold, very bright for me. Um, probably more of a special occasion highlight actually. I was thinking that it would be a little bit more subtle. But then again, the Rare Beauty liquid highlighters are not subtle either. They're very bright. Still so pretty. I'm just trying to figure out like how I like it. I think I do. It is melting into the skin even more, especially after I pressed it down with my sponge. 
think that made it look a little bit more natural. Let's take the shade Mesmerize, which is that pink color, and let's use this on the eyelid. Do you see how like intense that is? Like it looks like a metallic eyeshadow. Wow, I guess that's the nice part about these then. You really could use them as eyeshadow and they're gonna be really pretty. Ooh, I love when I'm able to use products in multiple ways. So I really like how that looks around the eyes too. I do think that this um, enlightened color would be incredible in the inner corner. So let's try it. Ooh, yeah, like it's bright. I'm also gonna apply that right underneath the highest points of the brow. Okay, those are pretty. I mean, I almost wish they had a shade in between for me personally, just because I don't always wear that bright of a highlight on an everyday basis. Um, I like something that kind of melts into my skin tone a little bit better. So that one's like pretty bold since it's basically like a champagne white highlighter, but the formula is really nice. I love the packaging. I think it is really pretty. Um, I don't know if I'll get use out of it on a daily basis just because of the shade for me. That's where I'm at right now. So let's go ahead and try out one of, or maybe a couple of the Too Faced blushes. I, of course, am eyeing the same one that everybody else was eyeing. This is Cloud Crush. So these are their blurring blushes. They're just a matte blush and they look stunning. Like this packaging, 10 out of 10, honestly. I love the matching color on the top. I think that's just so pretty. This is like a bright pink, similar to that viral Dior blush that everyone keeps talking about, um, which I do love that one too. Let's see here. I wanna try a couple of colors and I'm trying to figure out what would layer well with that pink one. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, wait, I said that wrong. These are the Cloud Crush blushes. This is Candy Clouds, did I say that? This is Velvet Crush. I think I wanna try Velvet Crush and then apply the other one on top. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, I'm gonna take a blush brush. This is like a nice everyday color. Tapping off the excess, mm, it smells good. We're gonna apply this color toward the back of the cheeks. Ooh, that's so nice. I'm going in gently because I'm not sure how pigmented these are and they seem to be just right to where it's not like crazy when you first dip in, but you can build it up to a more intense finish. Ooh, so pretty, wow. Okay, let's try the bright pink. Again, this is Candy Clouds. I'm just gonna take a bit of that and smile and apply this to the apples of the cheeks. So pretty. This packaging is unreal. Like I can't wait to display this in my beauty room, which by the way, if you did not see, I recently did a declutter and then also I filmed a, um, beauty room tour finally, which is something that I have been meaning to do for a long time. So if you wanna see those, I will have those linked down below as well. I'm just gonna take my powder brush and buff around the edges. How pretty is that? I feel like this, um, the Velvet Crush, would be so pretty in the eyes. So I'm just gonna kind of throw that into the crease to combine everything. Maybe a little down here too. I love it. Oh my gosh, those are beautiful. The other colors look stunning too, but you know, I can't try all of them at once. Like, look at this one. This one's called Watermelon Rain. This one is Golden Hour. Oh, so pretty. Okay, let's pop on some mascara. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Lash Sensational, and then we'll top things off with the new lip products that I've been dying to try. Okay, things are coming together. I feel like an unexpected favorite already is the blush. I feel like that's really pulling things together. Okay, Anastasia Beverly Hills recently launched some new shades in lip liners, lipsticks, and then a couple in their glosses. I wanted to try out their lip liners. I'm obsessed with their lip liners. And okay, I really, really wanted to try the shade Muted Mauve. It just sounded like something I would like. So we're gonna try Muted Mauve. I'm gonna dab off my lip balm a little bit and then go in with this. Their lip liner in the shade Deep Taupe is like iconic. I love it so much. So I'm really excited to try some new shades. Okay, that color is really pretty. It's a really nice everyday shade for me. And then there's no way I can try all these at once, okay? But I want to, believe me. Hourglass has launched some new satin lipsticks, I believe they're called. Let me triple check that. Here's the paper. Okay, satin creme lipsticks is what they're called. 21 shades. Oh, I'm so excited. They're hydrating and smoothing. A transformative nourishing formula that delivers instant impact in a single swipe. Okay, well, say no more, I'm ready. Look how pretty, oh my goodness gracious. Look at these. Oh my gosh, okay. How does one choose a color? I'm just gonna have to start like opening these. <laughs> actually, I'm gonna go on their website and try to see if I can pick a shade from the swatches because they don't actually have like the color on the bottom. 
So I have to open them all to see what I would like. So hold on. Okay, I grabbed three shades that I feel like I would like to try first. Look how pretty the packaging is. It's got the Hourglass logo at the top and then look how gorgeous. Okay, so this is the first shade that I feel like would be so flattering. Ooh, this is called Oasis. That looks really nice. Okay, I'm excited about that. The next shade I pulled was Lotus, which I felt like would look really pretty with this blush. Lotus is more of like a bold pinky coral, but how pretty with the blush, honestly. Could be really nice. And then the last one I pulled was Dahlia, which is like this really beautiful kind of mauve, rosy mauve, I should say. Now it's more like a true rose, I would say actually. How pretty. Okay, I don't know which one to wear. All three would look so good with this look. My heart really loves Oasis, so I'm gonna just go with that one. For today, I would love to do a lip swatch of these eventually. Let me know if you'd be into that, even if it's like on TikTok or something. Okay, ooh, look how perfectly that matches the lip liner I applied. Ooh, these are very comfortable. They leave a nice sheen on the lips. So pretty. Okay, I feel like that's a gorgeous nude on me anyway. Um, okay, I'm not gonna lie, I am curious to see how this would look in just the center of the lips, so I'm doing it. <laughs> I think that's so pretty to just kind of tie in a little bit more of a bright pink. I'm gonna use my finger to just softly blend that in and to pick up any excess product. My lips are still so dry, but that's okay. <laughs> It'll have to do. Okay, we are going to assess the situation and then I'm gonna do a wear test since we are trying a new foundation. Now, since becoming a mom, um, we will have to play the wear test by ear. So I'm hoping I can get at least an eight hour wear test today, um, but we will see. <laughs> I do think it's important though to see how this wears and I really am interested to see how all of the things hold up. So let me just assess the situation. When I do wear tests with foundation, I don't apply setting spray, which is sometimes hard for me because I feel like it really helps complete the look but that's all right. We can skip setting spray in the name of a wear test. It's gonna take a little bit more setting powder and just touch up my T-zone a little more. And then I can't live without a little brow gel. So I'm just gonna throw that on and then we'll be ready to begin our wear test. I feel like overall, everything looks really nice actually. I'm honestly really excited about the blushes and the lipsticks, which is kind of funny because I thought those would just kind of be like add-on things for this video, but so far that's what I'm like really giddy about. Everything else looks nice, like the highlighters look nice too. Foundation actually looks really pretty to me, um, but we'll see how it wears. I do think it would be kind of fun to try on these earrings. I'm just hesitant because I have very sensitive ears. And I'm not sure what kind of metal um, this is made of, but I have to try it on. Like it's such a sweet gift from Rare Beauty. So, you know, we're just gonna try them on. Even if I don't wear them all day, I feel like I have to, oh, how pretty is that? Okay, I have to wear them. But I'm trying to figure out <laughs> if you're looking at me, which side I wear them on. Wouldn't it be this? Is that right? <laughs> yeah, you would put your first name in the right ear, according to Selena's picture. Okay, I'm gonna put these on. Okay, I have to admit, those are pretty fabulous. I love them. Okay, I hope that I'm wearing them in the right ears. <laughs> I really can't tell. Alrighty, so we're ready for our wear test. It is currently 1.06 p.m. So again, I'm hoping to get at least eight hours out of this foundation but we shall see. Well, I feel cute though. I feel really like dressed up in these earrings, even though I'm wearing a sweatshirt, but it's fine. These are too cute. I don't think I'll be able to wear them all day because I just don't know how my ears would react, but we'll test them for a little bit just to see if I'm able to wear them because these are so pretty. Thank you Rare Beauty for sending these. Wow, how fun. Okay, let's do the wear test and I will see you guys back here in a little bit to share how things have held up. But yeah, as of now, I mean, everything looks really pretty, but the blushes and the lipsticks are what I'm really into the most, but you know, that could also just be me because <laughs> I feel like I'm always into blushes and lipsticks regardless. All right, so I'll see you guys back here tonight for my final opinion on all these products. All right, hello everybody. I am back with a wear test. It's currently 9, 10 p.m. So I've been wearing this for eight hours. And honestly, just sitting down, my foundation looks pretty good. I feel like I'm actually impressed at how long wearing it is. Normally I get super dewy in the T-zone. My lips are so dry. I feel like I need some lip balm. I didn't touch up my lipstick all day and it faded off nicely. Obviously it's gone now because I've eaten a few times since applying the lipstick, but I was obsessed with how beautiful that looked and it looked really nice actually throughout most of the day. But we're gonna talk about the foundation, okay. 
I feel like the dewiness that you see is mostly from the iridescence of the foundation, not necessarily because my oils are showing through. I will say the tip of my nose is a little bit oily, but overall it has a very long wear to it. It faded a little bit on my chin, but it's because I was eating a sandwich earlier and I took a bite and my lip flipped down and got lipstick on it. So I kind of like rubbed it off. So that's probably what happened. I don't think it would have faded by itself because everywhere else it looks like it's still intact. There's also also very minimal settling in the fine lines. So I think it looks a lot better than what I was expecting actually. I think it looks fresh still and after eight hours without touching up, that's pretty impressive because usually I touch up in the T-zone. So I actually like how that wore. I mean, it's a little bit of a different finish than my other foundations, but I, I don't mind it. I don't think it's like a bad foundation for some reason. A lot of people that I've seen didn't love it, but I really do feel like it's a nice foundation. I don't know if it's like my all-time favorite yet. I'm gonna have to see how much I reach for it or how it compares to my other foundations that I love so much, like my NARS Light Reflecting. I will say that one's still like in my favorite. I always compare foundations to that one. This one's just different in the finish, but if I want something to be a little bit more dewy, but I don't want like a foundation that's a dewy finish in the sense that it's gonna make me look greasy or overly hydrated, I feel like I would reach for this one. It's a really nice alternative for me, something that's long wearing, but gives me the effect of like fresh dewy skin. So I'm happy about it. Let's talk about everything else. I realized when I was talking about the highlighters from Rare Beauty, they have a shade called Exhilarate. That's kind of like an in-between. I'm not actually sure how this shade would show up on my skin, but I would love to try it another time because if this melts into my skin tone a little bit better than the super bright shade, I might enjoy them a little bit more. I think they're really pretty, but they're definitely a very bold highlighter. So it just depends on what you're looking for. I am more into like a balmy highlight or something that really melts into the skin and looks lit from within. So, you know, I'm gonna have to see how much I use it. It wasn't my favorite upon application. I will say as it's worn throughout the day, it's really melted into the skin a little bit more, but initially upon application, it's a little bit more visible than what I personally go for these days. What else did we try? We tried the under eye corrector from Rare Beauty, which I actually really liked how it felt underneath the eyes. I liked the consistency, it kind of felt like an eye cream. Like there's some skincare properties in there and I do feel like it did brighten my eyes. Um, I don't use correctors all that often, but I feel like I would reach for one like that one specifically. Where did I put it? It's somewhere on my desk. <laughs> Well, it's a mystery, I can't find it. But I would use a corrector like that for more like no makeup makeup days, I think, and probably on its own. Uh, when it comes to like a more glam look, I prefer a peachy toned under eye corrector where that one was like just a brightener. So I feel like I would use it more to just kind of like enhance my under eye area and really brighten up the under eye area, but not to use it underneath concealer as much, even though it still looked nice. I feel like I liked it on its own and felt like it gave nice coverage in a very lightweight way. That was kind of hard to say in a lightweight way. So yeah, that was like nice. I just don't think I would use it for glam looks. Um, the Too Faced blushes though, that's where I'm really, really, really happy. The pigment stayed all day long. It was like my favorite part of my makeup today. And I especially loved how these two colors look together. The Velvet Crush, this shade is so pretty. I'm obsessed with it. And then Candy Clouds on top, I mean, I'm obsessed. So I feel like these blushes were my favorite thing that I tried today, which I felt like I would like, but I didn't expect to like be obsessed with them. I can't wait to use them again. So 10 out of 10 on those, honestly. They're beautiful, plus the packaging to die for. I can't wait to try the other colors. And then the Hourglass lipstick, wow, it was so pretty. The formula was also really, really nice. The color Oasis was so pretty. I can't wait to try more shades. So let me know if you guys would like to see a lip swatch video. I feel like I would personally like to do a lip swatch video so I could let you know what my favorite shades are from the range um, since they do have so many, but 10 out of 10 on the formula, it's beautiful. Really excited about those. And then I also really enjoyed the Anastasia lip liner. I really love that formula. So it's just fun to have new shades. Um, and that muted mauve shade was really pretty. I feel like it's a great everyday color for me. It just kind of blended into my natural lip line, which I really like. So was there anything else that I tried that I'm missing? I don't think so. For me, out of the entire thing, I would say the blushes and the lipsticks were my top favorites. Next up would probably be the foundation. And then I would say the corrector and the highlighter from Rare Beauty are the things that I'm kind of like still on the fence about. They're really pretty, don't get me wrong. I'm just really picky when it comes to 
a certain type of highlighter depending on the occasion. And so, yeah, we'll see how much I end up using them. I also have been really wanting to try the Charlotte Tilbury highlighters. So we'll have to see how those compare um, in a future video. I did buy those, so I will do a video um, talking about makeup that I bought because not only did I receive some PR while I was away, I also did some damage on Sephora and Ulta's website, okay? And I bought some things. So I'll be trying those out soon as well. But overall, I had a really good makeup day and the foundation was actually surprising. I feel like my skin looks really healthy and fresh. That's one thing that I did like about all these products altogether. I feel like it gave me a very, very luminous, fresh kind of a finish to my skin, which is something that I don't always do. I usually like a more matte kind of a look all over. So that was fun to kind of play with something a little bit more luminous. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing me trying some of these new launches. I would love to hear your feedback in the comments down below. Have you tried any of these new things? How do you feel about them? Have any of them made their way into your routine yet? Are you into any of them? Are you interested in picking up any? Are you gonna pass on any of these things? Let me know in the comments. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, click on the notification bell after you subscribe and you will get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I truly enjoyed dipping into makeup. It felt so good to try some new things that I've been just dying to dip into. I'm so happy that I finally got my hands on them and got to test them out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.